Hey guys, Colorado camper man, Brian here. So I'm at the land, came down here for a day trip. It's the end of February, it's gorgeous out, it's almost 50, but uh, I am gonna try to get this old trailer home today. Put in the comments if you think I will do that without uh, breaking down. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes, but I did come here about two weeks ago and I got some newer tires. I got some, they're used, but they have a ton of tread left, probably about 90% tread left. These are load E range tires. I paid 49 bucks each. I did have to buy some new rims, which were 20 bucks each. So I spent about 140 bucks on tires. And then I did change out the diff fluid as well. So it was pretty gross. Uh, a lot of you guys recommend doing that. And it was pretty sludgy uh, down in there. But uh, last time I made a, a gasket for that, got the diff cover back up, and then you have to let that gasket cure for 24 hours before you can uh, put differential fluid in there and you know get on the road. So I'm gonna fill that up with diff here, diff fluid here today, and then I'm gonna put this trailer to use uh, right off the get-go. <laughs> so I'm gonna tow this thing home and uh, just try to get a lot of junk that the previous owner left uh, out of here. Now, the previous guy left these huge giant reels of barbed wire fencing, which I think we're gonna keep because we may eventually fence in some areas. So that's awesome, because uh, he did leave some T-posts as well. He also has these big old reels of barbed wire, except a lot of it's kind of bent and rusted out and just kind of crappy. So I'm gonna try to get those out of here. And then he also left some of this old chain link, which Quite frankly, I do not see us using here at all. I, I can't think of any reason why we would want to use that. Maybe for fencing, but I, I just don't see us using it. And I just want to clean this place up. Uh, he also had left, um, he put together this really crappy gate um, that's twisted and has broken and we just don't use it. So I'm gonna get that uh, loaded up on the trailer as well. And like I said, put this thing to use right away. Once I have this uh, trailer home, I am gonna look at the, the shocks and potentially replacing those. And I'm gonna determine based on how it does on the drive home, if I'm gonna keep this thing or if I'm gonna sell it or what exactly I'm gonna do uh, to it. Besides those things, uh, the most exciting thing I'm doing here, in my opinion, is uh, checking it out more stuff for the little uh, shed cabin and shower house because I want to get started on that here uh, sometime this spring. It's February 23rd right now. We were hoping to originally camp here in March, but we have been getting a ton of snow here and the ground is very sloppy. Uh, as I was backing the truck up, again, I'm just sinking in the, the mud and the dirt and we have gotten a lot of snow this winter. I don't know if this is normal or not, but we've probably gotten at least eight feet uh, from when it first started snowing to now. And you can see here, it is just, it's just sloppy here. So we'll probably end up camping here, I'm hoping in April. Uh, we'll see, and maybe then we can get started on the shower house and all that. In good shape. I was not, uh, I was definitely not expecting the lights to work. That's, that's pretty good. This shows you how saturated the uh, ground is. These are my ruts from earlier, filled up with water.
All right, guys, well, here is the future location of the shed cabin. I'm pretty sure, at least. <laughs> We've kind of changed it a couple of times, but I think we're gonna move it back here. My wife, uh, son, and I, we came here and we kind of decided on this spot and we've been going back and forth between this spot and another spot, but I think this is gonna be a spot. It's tucked back here a little bit, kind of out of the wind. It's super windy today, um, but back here it really isn't too bad in comparison to a lot of other areas. But uh, what's cool about this area, we already cleared out this little section under the trees because my buddy uh, tent camped over here. So we'd have a nice seating area that's shaded in the summertime. And then in the wintertime when we would come here, we'd have kind of this little open area, which uh, is again, a little protected by the uh, trees from the wind, but then it's it's got a lot of sun. And then that's kind of our open area we normally camp over the left, but uh, so it's really nice if we have other people here, you know, we can play football, toss frisbee, whatever over there, and you know, we'll still be kind of part of everything. And then the little shower house, I think will be back here uh, where those rocks are. Uh, my buddy who stayed here, we set him up, and I think it's covered in snow, but we did uh, set him up with a uh, solar shower back here like right back here and he said he really enjoyed it it's uh heavily treed back here it's really private so even if other people are camping back here you could you could shower outside in the nude and no one would see you this should hopefully be the the site of the shed cabin we will see the shower house is going to be first and hopefully the shed cabin will be able to do that over the summertime and uh, get it done fall or winter of this year There we go guys, in all its glory. Everything's strapped down, the gate is broken down in the bed of the truck, and I think I'm good to go. But I gotta show you guys my uh, ruts real quick. We literally have running water on the driveway. I was driving here, and uh, this is an area where I almost got stuck. But look at this. The water, the ground is so saturated, there is actually water running in my ruts. You can see it moving down there and it's pulling up right over there. Over there, there's probably like two inches of water. But then look at that big old mound of snow. It's probably two plus feet right there in the hump. I am actually very amazed that this place is not greener than it is um, based on how much snow we get. I, I had no idea we got this much snow. I would have thought we would have gotten half of what we normally do. And to my knowledge, this is not a uh, crazy good snow year. At least in most of Colorado it isn't. I don't know what it's like here at the land versus what it's normally like, but I don't think this is an abnormal snow year as far as volume goes. I think this is pretty typical. Made it back here safely. Everything's good. What do you think of the trailer, buddy? Well, I'm eating a popsicle. You're eating a popsicle? Well, it was like 60 out. But what do you think of this trailer here? Do we want to paint it? Uh, maybe. I don't know. They wanted to see if we could actually just bring it home. They made it home, though. It was good. It didn't wobble on the road. Daddy was able to go 75 and everything stayed. Yeah, the new tires. They worked out. So... Okay, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>